Um, it is very different from other observatories. Very, very different. In that traditional observatories, the whole point of the observatory is like, you know, like the way it works is you're an astronomer. Mm -hmm. You got some idea for a, a bit of research that you want to do. So you write to the observatory funders or like whoever's in charge of like allocating time. And you say, this is what I want to look at. This is how many nights it's going to take. Um, this is why it's important for science research, blah, blah, blah. And then they get a bunch of proposals. And then they allocate the yearly time budget to whatever you want to see. This observatory has no such thing, okay? Okay. There's astronomers can't bid for time. And yet astronomers are super excited about it, okay? okay. Beginning in 2025, NSFDOE Rubin Observatory will embark on the legacy survey of space and time. This observatory's only job is to take a picture of the night sky, the entire night sky, every three nights. Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's it. That's it. Like robotic clockwork. Mm -hmm. Okay? The, the, it's, it's almost like just a robotic telescope. Yeah. It takes a picture of the entire night sky yeah. every three nights. Mm -hmm. Now, that is impossible with other telescopes. It, 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 what's okay? Yeah, yeah, this yeah. thing had to be engineered specifically for that task. 15 years ago, the astronomers came together and were like, we need something like a large survey telescope yes. whose only job right. is to survey the night sky right. because we're tired of living in still pictures. Right. We want to we wanna upgrade to movies right. now. Right. Right? right. And, and so we need one telescope that does exactly that. This, that's actually a great analogy. We're moving from photography to videography in yeah. space. In the first two days, it discovered like thousands of galaxies. Right. In the first two days, it discovered 2000 asteroids that we've never known existed. And because all it's doing is taking a picture of the entire night sky every every night. Yes. And then it's going to look for it'll be super obvious. Right. When an asteroid moves. Right. right. When a point in the when a small point of light moves, we can literally track it over the whole year.